What's going on guys and girls of YouTube? It's me, Welshboy007, back with another commentary and a Call of Duty gameplay for you today. Today you're going to be watching Hardcore Free For All Infection. I know it's Free For All again. Sorry guys, I just love Free For All. I will bring you, you know, different stuff, but I thought this gameplay was pretty impressive because, you know, Hardcore, hardcore, you know, no, uh, no mini-map unless you've got UAV on, you managed to get one and, you know, uh, limited health, one shot, one kill and all that. And I actually end up, um... Uh, winning actually, I think I go 13 15, something like that, and I actually destroy. Uh, I think he's a level 234, so you know, he's been playing a while, and uh, I actually kill him and he rage quits. So keep keep an eye out for that later on in the gameplay. But what I wanted to talk to you guys today about was Call of Duty, what got me into it, and the direction I think it's taken. So I got into Call of Duty back in the Modern Warfare 2 franchise. My gosh, the memories of that game, you know, playing. Playing on favela and estate. Oh my god, I just used to love them two maps. They were, they were great maps. Um, yeah, my, all my I was in university at the time. I was studying university, and my mates were like, "Mate, you have to, you know, you have to get on, on Xbox. Like, you have to get gold." So, I did. Played Modern Warfare 2, loved it. Played Black Ops 1, loved it. Played Modern Warfare 3, loved it. Didn't think Modern Warfare 3 was as good as Modern Warfare. In all fairness, I know a lot of people think Modern Warfare 3 is the greatest. This is, it is, I just killed that Tuso guy, and any minute you see it coming up in the thing, now he's gonna rage quit. Yep, left the game. <laughs> so funny. But, yeah, no, uh, what was I saying? Yeah, used to love Modern Warfare 3. I know a lot, I, I know a lot of people think Modern Warfare 3 is the, is the greatest game of all time, but, um, I, I just didn't, it was good. I enjoyed it, but I didn't think it was as good as Modern Warfare 2, in my personal opinion. Uh, my greatest Call of Duty game ever, Black Ops 2, my phone's going off, sorry guys, uh, Black Ops 2, the best Call of Duty game for me to date, my gosh, the the kill streaks on that game boys, the kill streaks, can we all remember the kill streaks, I mean let's just take a, a moment, uh, a moment to just appreciate the kill streaks on that game, the Warthog, the V12 warship, the K9 unit, the swarm, uh, I mean, even the sentry gun, you know, even the sentry gun and the, the stealth chopper on that game just used to go ham sandwich. My gosh, that game. Black Ops 2, yeah, best Call of Duty game for me to, to date that I've played on personally anyway. Uh, I never played on World of War, like I said, I started from Modern Warfare 2 onwards. And then Call of Duty Ghosts. Call of Duty Ghosts, I mean, the less said about that game, the better. They messed up the fundamentals for me of Call of Duty Ghosts, uh, which is, you know, Great maps and good kill streaks, and I, I shit you not. The first, the first map I played when I put Call of Duty Ghost disc into my Xbox One tray was Stonehaven, and Jesus, I shit you not. If you've not played Stonehaven, but I expect most of you have, that map was fucking huge. It was just, I mean, it was like playing Rory McIlroy's PGA Golf or PGA Tour, whatever the game's called. It was, it was like a golf course. It was, in fact, it was most probably too big. Uh, for a golf course, that map. Insane. And then you had other maps like Chasm. So, I, I, yeah, I just didn't enjoy Call of Duty Ghost. Maps were too big. Kill streaks were lame. And then just when you think things couldn't get any worse, they bring out Advanced Warfare. Oh, gosh, Advanced Warfare. I just sucked at that game big time, guys. I really did suck at that game. Um, the maps were pretty good in all fairness, but the guns, that game was so unbalanced. I mean, everybody knows, you know, if you didn't have the ASM one or the BAL, you were just screwed. And of course, they introduced the uh, the supply drop thing in, and that was, it honestly was, it was like pay to win. It was pretty much like pay to win. It was just insane. Um, I still got that game, actually. You know, I might pop back on it, record the gameplay, and just, just for the sheer banter to show you how bad I am at that game, I was... I was terrible at it, guys. Um, and yeah, the court, the, the direction is going now. I mean, what we got now? Black Ops 3. Black Ops 3 is alright, but once again, it's, it's nowhere near as good as Black Ops 2. It's going a bit too futuristic for me. Um, I, I just want to go back to boots on the ground in the next game. I think everybody does. Everybody I've spoken to is thinking, you know, a boots on the ground kind of World, World War 2 style game with next gen graphics would be awesome, but. I mean, sadly, it's, it's just not looking that way, guys. Everything is going way too futuristic. Um, yeah, we've had all these leaks now of it being going, of it, the next Call of Duty game being called Space Warfare. And to be honest, you know, I could see some truth in that. I wouldn't be surprised if it was. Of all us, you know, floating around in space, 
and it's just it's just not what Call of Duty was for me. You know, it's it's it, it's they're moving further and further away from what Call of Duty used to be, which was running round, getting lots of kills, smacking some smacking some noobs up and having some fun. And you know, it's every game is just going too futuristic now. Obviously, they just seem to be not copying Titanfall. But obviously, you've got Titanfall with the running on walls and stuff like that, and I don't know guys, I mean, I'll continue to play Call of Duty, because I'm a big fan, you know, I'm, I'm always a Call of Duty fan, and I, I always play them, but it's just it's just a shame to see, for me personally, that I, the, the direction that is taken, they just don't seem to be listening to us at all whatsoever, but there we go, there's the final kill, this KM44 is an absolute beast, um, but yeah, there we go guys, I hope you enjoyed the commentary, I, I, I honestly don't know what to say about the direction it's taking, but for me, guys, it's, you know, it's not looking good. I personally don't think. But, who knows, we might get a, we, we might, we might get a, a, a boots, boots on the ground game, but for now it's, it's not looking too good in the, in the near distant future, but, hope you did enjoy the game, gameplay, guys, here we go, 30 and 14, 2.4, uh, 2.14 KD, you know, that's pretty, pretty decent, I thought. And a level one, one to eight, and when that's 77, 11, 20 is shocking. My dog's on a mad one, so I better wrap it up, you guys. I'll catch you soon. Take care and peace.